Hello ladies and gentlemen. So the objective of today's lesson is for you to learn how to divide a line uh, into equal parts on the SOLIDWORKS program. Okay, so we're the title of the lesson is dividing a line into equal segments. That's the same thing as dividing a line into a number of equal parts. Um, so in the lesson we're going to learn how to open up a SOLIDWORKS part file and how to save. We're going to learn how to draw lines, how to add relations and how to use the smart dimension command. If you get stuck just uh, play back the video and try the command again and control Z is the default control and Z the control button and Z pressed at the same time is the default for turning off uh, so, uh, or to undo something so SOLIDWORKS can be found on your screen okay here's the symbol you use you don't use the symbol with the lightning bolt or the one with the white dots around it. I don't have it on my computer. So it doesn't matter if it's SOLIDWORKS 2015, 16, 17 or 18. So double click on the SOLIDWORKS icon. Wait for it to open up. Now once it opens up, listen carefully to what I'm going to instruct you to do. Or, or read carefully on the video YouTube video if you can't uh, hear what's going on off your computer so once we go in we're going to go for the new page and we're going to click new and your screen is probably going to appear something like this it might appear like that right but we're just go it will be automatically highlighted parts so the part button is held down and even in here the part button is held down so we click OK so that's how to open the part you just go new and generally press OK make sure the part button is ticked down and then straight away we're going to go save so the save button can be located up here or across from the arrow file save as or save there so it doesn't make a difference which one you go for so I'm gonna go file save as and now listen carefully click desktop on the left hand side so click desktop on the left hand side click desktop on the left hand side put your name in Mr. Connell how to divide uh, align into equal parts now so that's it saved right now so that's our first learning attention done how to open and save it now we're going to learn how to draw a line so to draw a line in SOLIDWORKS we need to use the command sketch so we're going to click sketch and we select sketch now normally this is the way it comes up alright so you've got something called the front plane top plane and right plane now think see this screen here where my mouse is flicking around that's like space it's like space it's like 3D see the way I can zoom the place around it's like a 3d space now if I got a pencil and put it into this here the pencil wouldn't start drawing until it hit a surface or go until it hit something right like if you put your pen in midair and swing it around wave it around it won't draw until it touches something so we're going to select the front plane now common thing students do is accidentally hit the top plane or, or the right plane so if that uh, just first of all we'll just click the front plane and that's the way it goes if it doesn't if you click the wrong one by accident press undo and go sketch again and this is what you see and you're left confused so what you can do is press the control button and seven so hold down the control button on the bottom left of your keyboard and press seven it brings it back to the way you want and click front plane 
Now, we're going to go up and draw a line. So the line tool. We're going to click the line and do this slowly. Move the mouth here, put the pencil on the red dot, click once, so click once, move your mouth slowly across, slowly across, and make it as long as you want for the time being. And then click a second time to finish it. Now you're on another line already. So to turn off the line tool, you've got three options. You can double click the line er, the left click button, you can press escape, or you could turn it off here. So I'll double click the left button and that's it turned off. Or I could press escape or hit up here. Now when you double click the left button, it's still the line command is still on, which is what we want, alright? What I want. Um for the time being. Now, follow me here now. I'm going to move my mouse here and I'm going to click the red dot and I'm going to draw a line that looks like this. Look, just looks like that. It doesn't have it at an acute angle. Don't have the line like that. Don't have it like this or like this or like this. Have it down here in the bottom right, an acute angle. And it doesn't matter if it goes over or it goes inwards. All right, but so I'll make it, you can have it like that in theory, but I don't want it like this here. Just do it here and then turn off your line tool. So double click and press escape and you're out of it. Now, we're gonna measure these lines. So I'm gonna go smart dimension. So the smart dimension is the command that adds measurements. How? So we're learning the smart dimension command here. So I'm going to click this line here, wait for it to go orange, click once, and I'm going to type in 113, 113. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. What's 113 divided by 5? 113 divided by 5 divided by 5 and we get 22.6 now if I was to divide this line into 5 eh, on my drawing sheet okay splitting it into 22.6 I couldn't find tw I wouldn't be able to find 22.6 on my set square see where is 22.6 on that set square? Don't know where 22.6 is. It's somewhere between 22 and 23, but I don't know where it is. This is the purpose of today's activity, to show you how it works on the computer and how to translate it to a drawing sheet. So this is 113. Now, we're gonna divide this line into five equal parts. So this line here that I drew at an acute angle, I'm going to go smart dimension again. And I'm going to click the line now. So click it and have it like this. All right, see the way the blue arrows are going? Don't have it like that. Have it like this. Okay, like this here. And I'm going to click it and I'm going to make it a hundred. Okay, a hundred long. So 100 long. Now, I'm going to select the point tool. All right, so the point tool is there. Now, uh, or it might be an asterisk on your sheet. Now, just some of your computers uh, will look like, uh, I'll get it now for you. Uh, they'll look like this here the buttons will be smaller also while I'm here some of you this will happen to you okay how do I do it there just one second here this will happen to you here oh come on now computer can I 
Oh, I'm trying to show you something and it just won't work for me to show you what can happen. Never mind, that's not it. Look, look, if this goes missing here on you, this area here, the command manager, go view, workspace, default, and it brings it back to normal. Now, you, you don't have to actually do that there, what I was doing. Now, we're going to select the point two. And we're going to, along the blue line, we're going to go one, two, three, four points. And now we're going to make them equal spaces. So we're going to go Smart Dimension. I'm going to click the red dot. Click this point here. And look, it's got to be, the measurement has got to be like that. Okay, you don't go, you don't have the blue line going across like that. It's got to go like this. So handy ways, once you click Smart Dimension, once it's the way you want the arrow, so going like that, you can right click to lock it into place so it doesn't go straight across. So you want the blue arrow slanted, not straight across. Now, I'm going to click the number, type in 20. And now I'm going to go to the next one. So red dot, second blue point, Okay, slanted arrow, right click, locks it into place. When I type it in, click the number, type in 40. Now I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to click the red dot, click the third point, right click to lock it in, and type in 60. So I'm dividing the blue line into five equal parts. The blue line is a line that's equal in measurement. I'm going to right click. I'm going to type in uh, 80 here. Now, there we go. So that blue line is five equal parts here. One, two, three, four, five. And I want to divide this black line into equal parts. So now I'm going to um, sorry there, never mind. So I'm now going to go to the line tool again. Look, I'm going to draw this line here. I'm going to click this dot and, oh, sorry. If it goes into an arc, just uh, turn it off and turn it back on again. So click the line and click this dot here. Now, we're going to do the same here. Look, the next point, we're going to click the line and just click or wait for the black line to go orange and click it and then double click turns off the line tool and you can go to the next one so double click turns off the line tool so I'm going to click to here and click the orange line again and double click turns it off click once click again double click turns it off click once click again and double click turns it off now so here we're going to learn how to add in a relation so I'm going to click the last line here I'm going to hold down the control button. So I'll show you what the control button looks like. That one there. Now, hold it down. Hold it down. Loads of students. Just tap it once. So click this line. Hold down control. Don't let go of the control button. Click that line. Keep control held down click this one click the next one with the control button continuously held down and the last one now here's the relations here so we're going to tell all those lines to be parallel so you click parallel and now they're all parallel now watch this here now smart dimension click this dot click this one oh <gasps> 22.6 Look at that. What's 113 divided by 5? 22.6. 22.6. Now look here, if I tell the computer to click that, or if I click the number, the computer goes yellow. It says, why are you adding in the measurement? So this topic there that we've just done the computers to teach you how to divide a line on a drawing sheet into any number of equal parts. So if I want to draw, divide the line A to B into five parts, I draw a line at any angle, acute angle is best, 
okay make the green line here a length that's easily divided by 5 so 100 was easily divided by 5 mark along at 5 equal parts 20 20 20 20 uh, and the end join the last point to the end of the line all subsequent lines so this line 4 3 2 1 are all parallel to line 5 from each of the points and now here's 1 2 3 4 5 equal parts so exit your sketch and press save and then we're good we're done thank you cheers bye bye